Hello folks, my name is Paul's Ranger, and today Valve made a response yesterday about the Great Depression of 2019. And indeed it was. So, on the evening of Thursday, July the 25th, a bug was introduced that allowed some older crates to grant an unusual hat on every opening. We fixed the bug the following morning and decided to trade lock the hats from the bug's crate while we evaluated the situation which is good. Over the past week, we have been discussing ways to address this situation with the goal of minimizing the impact, the impact on the TF2 community as a whole while preserving the experience of customers who had simply opened a crate, made a trade, or purchased from the market on the 25th, unaware that a bug their item. Purchased, bugged purchase item. Which is also good. During our investigation, we have decided that a small, small number of account, accounts acquired these hats and a small production of these accounts have required an extremely large number of them. Based on this, we've decided that if you are currently owning one of the unusual hats, the first one added to your account will be made tradable. Any other unusuals you have reserved due to the bug will remain permanently trade locked. If you decide that you would rather not have these trade lock hats on your account, you may instead elect a full refund on any of the number of them. <clears throat> that is good. The TF team understand the importance of unusuals and the importance of customer experience. And at least for those who were unaware, we get to keep one of their unusuals. And they could sell it, trade it or whatever. And all the others they can just get refunds off. The number of unusual items being tradable represents about one month of a regular unusual drop rate. Which is good, so pretty much the economy has gone advanced a month ahead. A few of you were concerned that you have done something wrong by opening a bugged crate and, producing, and proceeded to delete your hats. While we appreciate the concern you didn't do anything wrong, so the hats from, from bugged crates deleted before the tradable date will be restored to your accounts with the same restrictions described above. And it's also good. That shows that the TF team care and understand about the Team Fortress 2 community. And it has been a while since we had a blog post like this. Item tradability restrictions and the refund support page will be made available in about a week's time. Refunds will be fully, fully priced, paid for any hats, crates or keys Bought on the Steam Market or Manco store, we will post an update when that exact date becomes available. We apologise for the inconvenience of the incident and we've added a safeguard to prevent incidents like this in the future. This to me shows that the TF team care, they listen and they understand well. Unfortunately there are some people who complain saying, Well I didn't unbox any of those crates, I should get some of it. People are hoping for a cheater's lament for not exploiting these unusuals. Now, I didn't unbox them because I was asleep, but to be honest with you, I would feel kind of guilty opening an exploited crate, getting free unusuals, rather than trying to get in a random chance or try and earn it. So for those complaining that they didn't get a cheater's lament, just realize that TF team is a small team, 15 people with three dedicated ones, and they're working on a major update. But anyways. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Do you think Valve did the right thing? Did they make the right move? And were you surprised to see this blog post in such a long while? Comment down below and I'll see you all later.